Hey guys, so it is Thursday and that means today is bag sale day. Depending on what size bag, it's either like three to six dollars. Um, so I'm getting ready to go there. It is very rainy and nasty today, so I hope that deterred some people from going since it is, let's see, 10.30. I never can make it out by 10 um, and over there by 10. But I did end up getting up early and making um, omelets for Marion and I. But anyway, so I'm going to head over there now. If I can't film too much inside, then I'll do a haul after. But yeah. Hey guys, so I am actually back home now. Um, I did really good, you know. I'm not just saying that. I actually did really good. So... All in all, I spent $25. I got these two huge bags um, and another little bag of shoes. Now, not everything obviously was in the bag sale. Um, there were some pants. Men's pants aren't included. Or er, jeans. Men's pants are not jeans. Um, and then I got extra shoes because I could only get one shoe per bag. So, um, before I start in the haul, I did go by Dollar Tree and I got a few things. So, I wanted to show you guys... What I got for like reseller kind of stuff. Um, first thing I got is a slint brush. I really like these. Um, and I kind of like clean them out. You, you can use them either side. There's, well, they're two sided. I think I like those better than the sticky tape. Sorry, I'm like out of breath. I was holding those bags up for the thumbnail. <sighs> okay. Next thing, I got these really cute scissors. They're teal-ish like in green. And they looked really pointy. I normally really like the um, kitchen scissors that are made by, what, Betty Crocker, the red and white ones. But I thought these actually looked really good. But there's those. Obviously a dollar. Next, I got some wipes to, like, clean up shoes and stuff like that. Pretty basic. Um, I'm kind of excited. They finally have the bigger size, bigger size storage containers. So here's what it looks like. Normally they're a little bit smaller and a little bit shorter, but these are like the regular um, storage container size. So that's cool, especially for only a dollar, because even at Walmart they're like, what, maybe like five dollars? I mean, they're cuter, obviously that's not real cute, but I wanted to use it to store things that I already put in the bags. And then I'm really excited about these. Now there's only six in a little package, but it is, um, there are expressions from Hallmark, so I thought that was pretty nice. And I thought they were so cute and they'd be perfect. Um, I was for a while printing out little cards and laminating those, but I thought this is like a little more of a, um, specific touch, I guess. Because the other ones I didn't say like who it was to or anything like that because they were just like little laminated cards, um, with my closet name on it and I had a little scientist on there. Um, but with these, I thought it'd be cute because I can write, you know, their name and all that and thank you for whatever specifically that they purchased. But look how adorable these are. There's little shoes. Now, there was only two packages of them, so I only got 12. Um, I did get another package that kind of had some metallic, um, like flowers on them. I thought those were really cute, but I love these shoes ones. I wish they had more, but you guys should check out your Dollar Tree. I did see, it was kind of funny when I was leaving they had signs up outside that said um, they're now selling expressions for Hallmark for obviously a dollar. So anyway, love these little shoes. And they're like sparkly on there. I mean, it doesn't matter if I'm actually selling them shoes or not. It's just the fashion look of it. Um, I am wearing my LEI pants today. Let me see. I love this part of it. <laughs> That's my favorite. Um, they are actually pretty tight. That's probably also why I'm winded. They're like really tight on my stomach, but they're nines, but you know, vintage nines or nineties nines, I guess aren't nines now. Cause I'm like, whew. Okay. So like I said, I spent $25 all together. Um, uh, not kind of Dollar Tree stuff. Cause I spent like 17 there. I got some other things. Um, but I got some really cute blazers. I obviously tried to kind of look at more fall and winter items since that's really what's going to be popular soon. Um, I'm going to put this down so I don't get it all over the floor stuff. But my first blazer 
is from Club Monaco, and I've heard different resellers talk about it. I think usually with more men's items, but this is a 10. The tag's partially like ripped out, or the, the sizing tag, not the tag tag. But it has a tin on there. But I thought this is so nice. Like this feels like really good quality. Hopefully my light isn't like washing it out too much. It's not like washed out or anything. But it feels so nice. Like this feels like a, you know, like a really, like a men's suit. But it's a women's. And it has that little like opening in the back. It's got pocket. Anyway, I'll have to look this up. I really have no idea, but... I think it's a women's, right? Guys wouldn't be a 10. Anyway, I think that looks so classy with like black pants and if you are not gonna suit it up and all that. Um, let's see, next one I got, I got this one because it still had the tags on it. Um, and it's Bijou Bijou by Michelle Bonbot. I always liked Bijou Bijou back in the day. Um, this is an extra large. It's a really nice kind of like little blazer open jacket. Oops, sorry. That's the inside of it. It's got some shoulder pads. The front's kind of like flowy. Um, and the tag says, does it have a style on here? Anyway, it was regularly $66 from JCPenney. So there's that part of it. So I thought that was really cute and extra large. I thought it's a really good size to buy. Um, next thing, I got a couple of items that are the same brand. I assume the same person donated these. Um, and it's Company by Ellen Tracy. I've heard Ellen Tracy sells good. I don't know about the company. I assume that's like a cheaper version of Ellen Tracy. But I saw like the gold detailing on the drawstring and I like knew it was somewhat expensive. But this is just like a little plain short green skirt. I don't know how well it'll sell. It has a lining in it though. I mean, kind of summery, but I thought it was cute still. And I don't, is this material, what is this, linen? It feels kind of linen-y. The outside of it does. Yep, it's 100% linen. The color is called Caper. Hmm. That might be worth some money. Okay, there's that one. Next one is another blazer. So, um, a lot of the items with the bag sale, they have a limit on how many you can get of each thing, like five sweaters or whatever. But um, suits, like top and bottoms, or suit jackets are unlimited. So, that's how I got so many. Now, this is another company by Ellen Tracy. This is super soft. Like cottony material, but I thought the inside was, you know, lined. It looks really nice. It's a small... That skirt was a large. So we'll see how this sells. I mean, I'd keep it for me if I ever needed a suit jacket for anything, which I do not. But you never know. This one I thought was really cute. I don't know how well it'll sell, but I just love the embroidery on it. And the brand is the Vermont Country Store from Western Vermont. Um, it's with rayon, cotton, and linen blend. And... Um, Oh, there's a thread I need to fix on here. Let's see. Yeah. But I just love these flower detailing. thought it was really cute. Sorry my lights like makes everything look weird when it focuses. But how cute is that? And it's a size 2X so I thought that would be a really good size. Because I, my plus size stuff sells really well. I think everybody's plus size stuff sells really well. Um, this is a 1X in ex exertion. It's like a, you know, workouty jacket. I just love this purple color. It's a zip up jacket. Kind of plain, but it does have like, you know, a little bit of detail on it. thought that was really nice. Next up, these are just, I might keep these for myself. Um, they're Old Navy like boyfriend shorts. And they're size 6. But I've heard Old Navy sells decently. 
This one is a Banana Republic, and I forget if this is the new label or not. But this felt like really good quality, like the cuffs are rolled up. Um, so you can roll them up or roll them down. And it's a size 6. And I didn't see any flaws on it. It just looks really well made. I don't know if you can see any of that. Okay. Next off, this is from Old Navy too, but I just thought it was so cute. And it's like that waffle knit um, thermal. And it just has a little lava on it. Okay, next up, let's see. I have this pair of pants. I thought they looked really nice. They would match with one of those blazers really well. Um, this button does have a little bit of wear on it. But I thought they were a really cute design for black pants. Um, and they come down here and they're more of like a skinny trouser. And they're Alfani and they're four. Just thought that was a good, nice career piece since I am kind of having more blazers and stuff like that in my closet. Um, next up is this blouse. Not sure if it's going to sell. Um, it's not really the season for it, but it's by Silkland and it's 100% pure silk and it's a size 6. So that's why I got it because I feel like you should most of the time pick up silk blouses. It's got little shoulder pads in there. But I thought this was really cute. Just the little button down. Red with, what's that? Like palm, palm leaves. Okay, next up I have some shoes. So these I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep for myself or not. They are actually um, Brooks, which I know a lot of runners that really love Brooks. Marin wears Brooks. He wears like the waterproof ones and he really loves those. These are size 9 so they might actually be a little big. But I looked online and they look like they resell for decent. Um, this is the Ghost 6. And that's what they look like. They're still in really good condition. So I got those. Next I got a few belts. This one I got over in the men's section. Um, belts are another thing that you can get unlimited limitedly <laughs> I don't know what word I wanted to say there um I can't really tell like what the brand is or anything because it's worn out but it looks very like western and vintage and I love the buckle buckle on it and like the metal on the end and it's got some interesting detail like flower flower detail in there okay there's that one this one I thought was so cute I had to get it it reminds me it's like Super 90s, like Claire's, like actually it would match really well with the pants I have on right now. Uh, but it just like hooks there and you can wear it like low or whatever. And then it's got this big chain around the end. Just thought that was super fun and funky. This one is another leather one. Um, I love all the detailing on this one. Um, it says, oh my gosh, it's a Tony Llama. I didn't even realize that. I know those Tony Llama boots go for a ton. And this is leather. I don't know what size it is. It says AA 17, 11, 12, and a 28. Maybe it's a 28. Sweet. I know Tony Llama. I've heard of that. <laughs> if I've heard of it, it's probably good. Um, this one, I just thought this was a really fun green belt. I thought it would look really cute for winter. Um, and this is actually, it says Champagne Internationally Express. So I guess it's an express belt, but it's like a vintage express belt. But it feels like suede. Does it say leather? Yeah, genuine leather. And it's a small. But this is like a really heavy duty buckle. Like it's nice. Okay, so got lucky with those belts. So that was like my half bag. Um, it wasn't a full big bag, so she just charged me for like the smaller bag size. But this one is my big one. I gotta go find my other bag of shoes, whatever I did with those. Cause I found some good ones. Okay, so like I said earlier, men's jeans did not count, um, but they were up 
above, which I guess is ones that have something wrong with them. Like these all kind of have like stains or something like that, which to me doesn't really matter because I'm going to make them into cutoff shorts. And I think sometimes when they're dirty or like kind of stained, it just makes them look more worn. Or when I checked out, the lady was like, yeah, they're patinaed. And I thought that was funny. Um, so I got these, most of these for a dollar, I think. Uh, men's jeans are normally like three dollars a piece, but these are all five seventeens and they are the orange tabs So I'm pretty excited about that and they're all 34s And pretty short, but I am I think I'm gonna make them all into cutoffs Usually I can make more money for cutoffs even if it's not like cutoff season. You know what I mean? Like it's getting It's getting late in our summer days, but some of these are a little bit lighter washed. I think I ended up getting five pairs but I think these are a perfect size um, because a lot of people are, you know, like about a 32 or whatever. Or if they want to wear them oversized, that works. These are 34. Yeah. So I have to measure them out, but most of the time 34s end up being about a 32. Since it's never what it says it is, hardly. Yeah, there's more pair. Oh, that one doesn't. Oh, that one. It was a five something, but it's like worn off. That one you can't really tell what the, the style is. But they're all like the exact same pair. Obviously one person donated like all their pants. Maybe they passed away. I don't know. Because that's kind of weird that there were so many of just one kind. Yeah, and these are 3429s. That's that's short for a dude. Not to be whatever, but I'd be like, I could probably wear those. Okay. Next off, um, bras are not included either, but I went ahead and got these because I thought they were in good condition and a larger bra size. So I feel like, you know, you can get more money for bigger bras because they're usually more expensive. Um, this one is Sweet Nothings by Liliette. Um, and this one is a 40 double D. So I thought that was a really good size. It looks like it's in really good condition. It's a plain, whoop, plain nude bra, nude colored bra. And this one is a really nice strapless black bra. Everybody needs one of those. And it's even got the little sticky stuff on the inside. Um, this one I'm going to have to fix the hook. The little hook and eyes kind of getting twisted. Um, this one is Wacol and it's a 40D. So we got a 40D and a 40 double D. But sometimes you want your strapless ones a little tighter so they stay up. So maybe the same person. I don't know if I should bundle those together. I probably won't. Um, next off, <laughs> your girl got another pair of Doc Martens. Um, these were over in the women's section. There wasn't actually another pair in the guys, but the laces look a little more beat up. The shoes in general looked a little more beat up. Um, but they were a similar size. And um, this one, like the heel looks huge to me. Like, you know, the cutout part of it. Um, but these are a US 8. So I'm like, hmm, should I clean these up and keep them for myself? Because so far I haven't found a pair for me. And these are really nice. I could use them for the winter. But I don't know. I don't know if I like Doc Martens. I've never really worn any. So anyway, there's those. They'd be really good for the winter. Um, next, I found this J. Jill. I hear a lot of people talk about J. Jill like being good or not being good. Um, but I never, anytime I find a brand I've heard of, I usually get it just because, like, around here we don't get, like, these, you know, really, like, free people and stuff like that. I never get that. Um, but it's just this J. Jill button down. Really nice, kind of like a layering piece, I thought, for fall and winter. Kind of plain, but it's got, like, a collar on it. That was kind of cute. This I love. It's just a vintage plaid skirt. It says it's a size 10, but it looks really small. Um, the brand is Modern H Sportswear. Yeah. Really cute. Very vintage. Very Christmassy. Um, another one I got I thought looked really cute. This is button down. It buttons down the front and then it has just this plain opening. Or like slit it stops there I just love this like for fall this winter green green color I thought I had a fun like split open detail after the buttons 
Oh, and the brand is extra. <laughs> what size? It says it's a nine. It's not a nine. I'm telling you now. I ain't even measured it and I know. Next one. This one I thought was so like comfy, casual, slash work, whatever. Um, it's a medium and it's by that company by Ellen Tracy. So it's like jersey and like stretchy a little bit. Is it stretchy? Somewhat. And it's got pockets in the front. But I thought the cutest part is it's like lined in the arms. But the rest of it's not. Okay, so I have maybe a few more items and then I'll have the rest of my shoes. I just went up and got them. Um, let's see. Oh, I just have one jacket left. I thought this was so nice. Um, it's actually Lauren Ralph Lauren, which I don't know if I've, you've seen one of my other videos, but I love like anything Lauren Ralph Lauren. I'm not usually like a super like dressy person, but I think like, all their stuff is cute. And I just love this like velvet detail on the neck and then down here, this like bordering and then it has all these like Victorian looking buttons. I don't know. I just thought it was so cute. Um, and this is a four, and it's wool and polyamide, polyamide and elastic. So yeah, I just thought this was so cute looking. So I did get a lot of like blazers and like suit coat jacket kind of deals. Um, last, but definitely not least, maybe why you clicked on this video, is I found some awesome shoes um first one i need to like glue this down more but i found a pair of saint john heels um they're in decent condition not like the best um but here they are see it says saint john's they're eight and a half little like pumps there's the bottoms this is made in italy so those I think will resell for decent. I have a pair of St. John pants that I need to put up. I just keep not doing it. <laughs> They're in my death pile. I have St. John in my death pile. Um, these ones are Cole Haan Country, which I just took some pictures of another pair of Cole Haan ones um, that I got the other day that were... Um, like a brown leather and they're a 10 so really good decent size I thought they were men's they're like the fisherman weave if you know what I'm talking about sandals um but they're not men's they're actually women's and these I just thought were so cute perfect for fall remind me of my grandma a little bit so I would say like an older woman um but yeah look how cute these are like, well, I think they remind me of my grandma because she's all about this, like, red maroon color. She has, like, everything this color. She has, like, a purse that looks like this a lot. But my grandma's bougie. So, anyway, there's those. I thought those were really nice little, let's call them mules. I never understand what a mule is, but we'll say they're mules. And these, last but best, are the, um, whatever his name is, Ferragamos. Now, they had a couple of pair of Ferragamos, um, but they had a black kind of like elastic looking like ballet heel slipper, um, but it was a little more beat up. It had like a cut in part of it, so I didn't end up getting those, but these I just think are so cute. I love that little like bow detail on there. And then here's the other one. Now, these... They made in Italy. What is the name? Uh, Salva, is it Salvador Ferragamo? Something like that. But these are in really good condition, I thought. Yeah, there's some wear on the bottom, whatever. But there's some mud on the bottom, but i got to get that off. The bottoms are a little beat up. But, woo, dropping shoes. They're heavy. Like, they're a good shoe, you know? Everything made in Italy is a good shoe. What am I saying? Okay, so that's everything. That was my huge haul. Um, if I did a haul every time I got this stuff, I would be exhausted. So that's why I don't do a haul every time. But yeah, I was really proud of all the things I got today. And I thought I did really good. I could have got more. <laughs> but I was like, mm, eh, you know, cart full. I think we're good. I need to 
list things in my death pile first. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you want to check out some of my other videos, I'll put a playlist here of all my Poshmark uh, videos that I've made. And also, if you can, subscribe right here um, so you guys can see when I put up um, more thrift haul videos or if you're interested in some of my other kind of videos. Um, that would be great. And I will see you guys later. Bye.